Hey everyone, Anthony Morganti here. Have you ever stumbled across one of those free automatic background removal tools that are found online? In today's video, I'm going to check one of those out. The one we're going to be working with today is by InPixio. I'm going to try two different images in this. The first one is one I consider to be very easy to remove a background from in that it's just a model in front of a seamless white paper background. So this one, in my opinion, should be relatively easy. The second one is just slightly more difficult. We have the model in outside in front of a field. Now the field is considerably blurred out. I think this one would be relatively easy as well, but slightly more difficult than that first one. Um, in the description below this video, I'll have a link to this web page. I mentioned that it is an online background removal tool, so you could check it out. It works right in your browser. You just drag the image right here, or you put the URL of an image. So if you have an image that's just online somewhere and you know it's URL, you could put it right here. I'm going to choose the photo and find the one on my desktop of the model that's in front of the white seamless paper background. It's an Adobe stock image. I'm going to click upload and it will upload it and hopefully remove the background. And actually it did. And it actually, as I suspected, it did a pretty good job. Um, this was a relatively simple one. Now you have some options over here. Uh, you could restore a race. You go over here, let's say that it, um, left part of the background in, you would erase part of that background that it left in, you could see there. Um, if it took away part of what you want still to be in, you would then restore that. So you could do that. Also, you could click this adjust checkbox and you could smooth the edges if you find you need, need to. Uh, once you're done there, you could go back to replace background and it has some stock little backgrounds you could throw in here. You can see that there's a little bit of haloing around her hair. Uh, if I wanted to, I would go to restore erase and I would erase the very edge around her hair. I'm not going to do this on Im this image. I, on the next image, we may have to do that. Once you're satisfied, if you want to use one of their stock backgrounds, you can, or you could just export it as a transparency like this. And then you would go down here to save your photo. And when you click on that, it will just save it to your computer. But as I mentioned, I don't really I uh, want to work on this image. I want to try the one that is slightly more difficult. So we're going to choose photo and we'll go to that one. We'll upload this one. Again, this is an Adobe stock image and it actually didn't do too bad of a job. There seems to be a little more haloing here. Let's put a background on it. Uh, maybe this one with the flames just because we could really see that haloing um, a lot more readily. So it did okay, but we have this haloing. So let's see if we could fix it. We'll go to the restore erase. We're going to go to the erase tool. Uh, maybe get a little bit of a smaller brush. And I'm going to try to carefully come in here and erase that haloing. Now you can see that the part that we're keeping is green. You see it has a green overlay on, on our model. So it's kind of difficult to do while I'm talking to you and working with the mouse. I don't have my Wacom tablet on this computer. We'll try it and see how it does. Okay, that's pretty much all that haloing and see what it did. Let it reprocess. And once it does, hopefully it's perfect, but we'll see. Okay, it, it did okay on our hair. Uh, maybe a little bit more here, but it messed up over here. This was perfect before. And now it kind of messed that up. So it, I guess, reevaluates the entire image when you do any restorations or erasing. So let's come in and let's work with it. Let's see if I could get it to work or look pretty good. So we'll get this hair over here in the corner a little better. Let it do its thing. All right, not too bad, but it really did mess up over here. So let's come in here and see if I could fix this mess that it created because it was good when it first started. Let's see what we could do. 
Again, it's kind of hard on my mouse with using a mouse here. All right, let's see what that does. And let it do its thing. Hey, hey, that isn't too bad at all. All right, it's much better. It's much better. Actually, I would say it's acceptable if you're make, like making a meme or you're doing something for a newsletter. I mean, you're not going to use this in an advertising campaign or anything like that. But it is, you know, something to pass a rainy day with. Um, so, um, yeah, it's not too bad at all. And, it, you know, for what it is, uh, it's obviously if you're an uh, expert at Photoshop, you could do this in, you know, probably half the time, actually, and do a better job. But as I mentioned, if you're not um, experienced in applications like Photoshop where you could do this or you just can't afford Photoshop and you just want to do something for fun, um, this will work great. Again, in the description below this video, I'll have a link to this web page and you can check it out. It works in your browser. When you're satisfied with it, I mentioned you could save it. Just click on Save Your Photo and it will automatically save it to your Downloads photo, um, folder. Let's get rid of that for a minute. So you go to your Downloads folder and it's right there. So there it is. A little bit of haloing right here I missed, but yeah, like I said, it did the job. So that is the, um, the InPixio background removal tool. Thank you, everyone who watches my videos. I really do appreciate it. I'll talk to you guys soon.